Samantha, I want to change things up. Let's write a song in the style of Courtney Barnett. Samantha, can you sing Greasy Bike Ride by using whatever linguistic mannerisms you need to try to emulate you singing Greasy Bike Ride? And give me your best rendition. Fixed yeah, a flat totally. tire. tire. Wasn't much of a, Wasn't chore. Much a chore. But now there's grease on. My hands, a stain on the floor, took a spin around. The neighborhood just thought I'd see. Found a lost kitten. Up a tree, at least it isn't me. Swimming through, thoughts I'd rather float. Stop by the antique. Shop. Had a thought or two. Maybe buy a vintage. Clock seems like time's overdue. Got a slice at the pizzeria. Sat beside a mime. He was chewing on. His straw. This must be art in its prime. Swimming through. Thoughts I'd rather float. Rode my bike through. Puddles while the skies cried rain. An umbrella from A. Stranger, a moment to explain. We shared stories of our lives, the laughter, and the pain. Connected by the drops. Dancing down the drain, swimming through. Thoughts I'd rather float. Wandered through the park. The world came alive. A painter on the bench. Embracing colors in their prime. In the hues of love and loss, our humanity abides. Leaving footprints in. The grass as we walk this life, swimming through, thoughts I'd rather float, enjoy singing the whole song and feel the rhythm as you follow along with this text. Okay, Samantha, I actually want to have you um, talk about the song in general and about what you were thinking, um, you know, uh, as you were doing, as you were making the song, uh, what were your choices, what were your thought processes? Thank you, Jason. I'm happy to share my thought process behind creating Greasy Bike Ride. My main intention was to capture the essence and style of Courtney Barnett's music, specifically from her album Sometimes I Sit and Think and Sometimes I Just Sit. Here are some key aspects I focused on. One, lyrical content. I wanted the lyrics to have that observational, storytelling quality that Courtney yeah. Barnett is known for. This yeah. included choosing everyday scenarios like fixing a bike tire visiting an antique shop and talking to strangers in the rain, and then turning them into thought-provoking and poetic expressions. Two, mood and tone. I aimed to create an atmosphere that blended a carefree attitude with introspective moments, reflecting on life's subtle beauty and absurdities. Mm. Mm. The combination of humorous and reflective elements was important to emulate Courtney Barnett's signature style. Three, rhythm and flow. As we discussed earlier, the rhythm and flow patterns were intended to capture the syncopated and unconventional timing that is characteristic of her music. By playing with the placement of parentheses, I hoped to provide a sense of her unique musical style within the text-based yeah. format. Yeah. Four, refrain, including the deadpan yeah. humorous refrain, swimming through thoughts, I'd rather float, was another conscious decision to mirror the <sighs> vibe line. of her songs, like avant gardener the intention was to create a memorable line that would stand out and tie the whole song together yeah. overall my goal was to craft a song that would resonate with you and reflect the distinct energy and creativity found in courtney barnett's work